What is up everyone, my name is RoninX and today I'll be bringing you a guide on how to effectively edge guard and ledge trap as Ken. So let's go ahead and start off with ledge trapping. So let's go ahead and go down the list of things your opponent can do from the ledge. Um, so first off, they can ledge jump, get up, attack, neutral get up, uh, get off the ledge with, a, with an attack like let go ledge up air or something like that, roll, jump, Jump air dodge and double jump from from center stage to center stage, excuse me. Or you know, I might be forgetting some other options, but you kind of get the idea. Um, this is one this is one setup I like to go for a lot. So what I do is say I knock my opponent off the ledge. As soon as I see him grab the ledge, I stand well, unless you know I I kill him like that. As soon as I see him grab the ledge, I'll put a slow fireball at the ledge. And if he neutral gets up like that, I'll react with a dash forward. And if he gets up attack, I pause and then I dash forward. Because the great thing is about both those options, you can react to them. Like, except with get up attack, you can have a pause for a second and dash in. And if they normal get up, you can just, you know, you can just go in and get a full combo pretty much. But, and if the fireball hits, like if you're like, there, your opponent's like right at the ledge and uh, you hit him with a fireball, it shoves him right back off the ledge. So now you reset him back to, the, back to where they started. So... And if they roll, you're at roll distance. So you get a full combo that way as well. And um, Hadoken doesn't really have uh, doesn't have enough lag for them to be able to roll and then punish afterwards. So essentially what this does is makes them want to wait. They want to wait out the fireball. Well, the reason, the whole reason we're throwing out a slow fireball is because it burns the iframes on the ledge. And if they wait for too long, you can kind of like act like you're going to go in and down smash him. Or you could, you know, if they don't have a low ledge hanging, go down there and down smash him. So it essentially makes them want to do something because, you know, they feel threatened. So if so, one of the most common options they go for is they'll jump. They'll double jump just try to like just get over you because, you know, why not? Well, starting at around 110, if you've racked them up to about that percent, 110, 120, depending on rage and weight. Heavy DP starts killing at that percent. And the strongest hitbox on Heavy DP is the top hitbox. Right? So, say they're at this percent. And you get them off a ledge. You kind of just throw a slow fireball. Wait for them to wait to see what they're going to do. If they do one of those options, you can dash forward, sure you can. Wait, dash forward, sure you can. If it's a uh, get up attack, it's roll. You know, they land right into that kill setup, and if they jump, you can react to it. The thing is, is like, make sure you're at this distance if you go for it, because look at look how far out the um, Ken sure you can send him. Like, he goes way out there, so if you're, say, like, right here, you can just die. So that's why you want to kind of stay at roll distance, because it's the distance where you can react to the most options. So, um, but let's say you don't have him at 110 yet. Let's say you got him at, like, say, 50. How can you effectively keep him in the corner, right? Well, the same trap works, you know, to kind of cover ledge, get up, roll, get up, attack, um, get off the ledge, attack. So what it makes them do is they'll wait and they'll jump. So what can cover jump effectively and put them back in the corner? So what I like to do, if they don't jump with any kind of hitbox whatsoever, like they're just trying to jump over you, they burn their double jump, I'll just go up there and stuff them out with up air. And if they burn their double jump, they pretty much all they can do is drift or fall straight down. If they fall straight down on you, you have many, many good iframe anti-airs to pick from. But I'll show you the ones I, I usually use. What I'll do is I'll hard up tilt. Wait, let me show, actually show you. Because actually, you can see the iframes in training room. Like, Ryu's hard... I mean, Ryu. Ken's hard up tilt has iframes. The first hit of his roundhouse kick, this move right here, has iframes and can kill. And it sends at a really good angle. Especially at, like, say, higher percents. Because it sends them way out there. If you fight someone with a bad recovery, they actually just get destroyed by this option. Um, another thing you can do is dash back, or, like, depending on where you're at, you can just kind of walk back, light forward tilt, and this move, if you get the very tip of it, you can, like, get spikes and stuff like that, depending on their DI. Um, I actually get, uh, forward tilt spike a lot, because people just don't expect it, and they're not ready to DI it. Um, you can get dash back, you can always, like, you know, parry it, you can dash back away from the land, and then dash forward, and then start pressuring them. Um, if they don't have a lot of end landing lag, like say like cloud spacing like a fair or something like that, and you know it doesn't have a lot of end lag, what you can do is like as soon as like he can like buffer down tilt and sometimes beat that option. So you can kind of just 
You know, if you feel like they're going to land with something and you can't get under them in time, you can space yourself right outside of it, wait for to see what they're going to do. Because if you're like right on top of someone like this, as Ken, they're going to feel pretty pressured and they're going to want to push something. So you can kind of just wait for them to do something and then whiff punish with the, like a dash forward tilt. I mean, you kind of get the point, kind of get the point. If they're above you, they burn their jump, they're in a bad position. And eventually they'll stop trying to land down on top of you because you, you're just anti-airing everything they do because you have many, many options to kind of just anti-air them for free. Another option I like to anti-air with whenever, they, whenever I'm in this situation is light DP or medium DP. Because one, they don't have a lot of lag. And two, medium DP, whenever you do get it, um, can kill pretty early. Um, so, I mean, well, I should say pretty early. It kills, like, almost around the same percent as heavy. Because medium DP has their, his own, its own properties. But I'll cover that in a, another video. So, essentially, they end up burning their options. They end up landing next to you. And you loop them back in the corner. Pretty much. And you just keep them here. And that's that's pretty much Ken's entire advantage state. Is keeping them right, right here. And staying at a distance where you can react to. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about um, his ledge guarding. So something I like to do, you know, other than going for this trap I just showed you, like, if I knock my opponent off the ledge, and uh, they feel like I'm not going to threaten them, I'll sometimes, like, drop off the ledge like this, and then come back. Because if they, say they recover, say you're, like, I'm fighting a Ryu, and they recover like this, if I do that, I'll actually auto-turn around, and my Nair will be going this way. So what I'll go for sometimes, is I'll go off like this, and I'll jump back, and I'll land with Nair. And if they're already at the ledge, like say they're hanging here, I'll immediately backdash, and then I'll do the, fi the slow fireball setup I showed you before. And then I just kind of loop them there. But sometimes, in some situations, say uh, they neutral get up or get up attack or something like that, um, and they're at the right percent, say like mid, like, you know, 60 or something like that. I'll go off and like, I can hit them with there, and if I hit them with like the reverse hitbox, it pops them right back out. But um, if I hit them with this part, it puts them in a tech chase where I can jab lock. And the cool thing about Sour Spot um, Nair is it sends at a very low angle, so it's kind of hard to tech. A lot of people don't expect it. And you can get like some really nasty setups, like what I just showed you there. That was a down tilt cancel, by the way. Oh, another really cool thing, once you get used to down tilt canceling, um, you can uh, dash forward and do it at the ledge. And it actually is a true spike combo on most characters at some pretty early percents. I mean, that could even work... Let me see how early that works real quick. Let me find out. I don't even work in 28. Oop. Yeah, see? Like, even at 28, it works on Ryu. It probably could work earlier. But, um, I guess it's a... Since I just showed that, I guess I might as well explain what I just did. So, Ken ha and Ryu have a tech called Down Tilt Canceling, and they can Down Tilt Cancel into Down Air or Up Air. So, how it works is out of a dash... You input down tilt, and then you hold jump right after you hit down tilt, and you hold down on the analog, and it gives you down tilt cancel. If you just hold jump after you do this, you get nair, right? If you hold up, you get up air. You hold back, you get back air. You get you get it. So it, it's pretty good out of a out of a, against like bigger characters because sometimes you can get some pretty nasty setups out of a jab block. Or you know, like I said, like if I do this Hadoken setup here. And the neutral get up and the fireball misses. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh my god! Uh, you get the point. Um, so, yeah, down tilt canceling is really effective. You can do it out of buffering a move, like close forward tilt, or doing it out of a dash. You can do it out of a run, but you have to be really, really quick with it. Like when you let go of uh, let go of the analog, because it's it's a lot tighter to do out of a run. I've 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 found, but you can do it. But yeah, that's like a little bit slower than it's supposed to. So it's easier to do. It's more effective doing it out of a da out of a dash or doing it from a, like a buffered for a close forward tilt or another move such as that.
And that'll be the end of this guy. If you like this video and would like to support this channel, please drop a sub and hit that bell icon down below for more videos like this. If uh, you have any questions for me whatsoever, please drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. If you really would like to support me, please consider dropping a follow at my Twitch account at roninx1819 at twitch.tv. I do VOD reviews, I do sub lessons, I do um, viewer battles, elite matchmaking, open arena, pretty much everything you can think of. And um, also, all my lab findings and combo extensions and anything related to Ken or Ryu will be on my Twitter account, which is at roninx1819 at, twi you know, at Twitter. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be the end of this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.